is it that people are truly struggling or are they just taking advantage of the system that has been put in front of them? Oh, I think there's both. There are yeah. people out there that are truly struggling and there are also great landlords, as I would say even most landlords, are willing to work with somebody that is struggling and is trying to do the right thing. But we go on the other side. There are straight up so many people right now that are just taking advantage of the system, you know, and I am, I'm going to be, I'm also considered a mom and pop landlord. If you have under 19 doors, you're a mom and pop okay. landlord. If you have one or two, I have a handful of rental properties. This is something that a business I've been in for many years. It's something my family's been in for many, many years as investors and even property management. But yeah, you know, we are seeing all sorts of people. We're talking like move the needle drastically forward, taking advantage of the system. Have you personally had renters who you felt like were manipulating? the system? 100%. And yes. yeah, and that started in COVID. And it's so funny because it's oftentimes the people that you are not expecting it to be. Um, there were a handful of people down in Pierce County that we were working with that when the pandemic hit, they were struggling. We worked out with some, uh, you know, payback programs with them, allowed them to move out. It was actually a really great situation. And then there was somebody up north that was more single family home, you know, suburbia, all American. And they were straight up not paying and going to the nonprofits that were out there, you know, funded by whoever, you know, to, you know, make, you know, current on, on their dues. I'm just remembered, this is the craziest part about that one, Brandy. I'm connected with that particular tenant on social media. He oh. does not know that I am one of the owners of the property. I'm not sure why I'm connected, but I was. I'm watching this guy go on vacation. Oh no. I'm watching him being fully employed. Like like, you know, him living him living his life and so, oh, you know, hey, this, that, and the other, we can't pay. And then, you know, we ended up working that thing out. He got caught up through these through these nonprofits, but he totally worked the system. Did you ever tell him, like, hey dude, I see your social media? He doesn't care. I mean, you oh. know, it you know, and there was part of me, I didn't go that I didn't tell him because I wanted to watch if it ever got down to any type of law. Lawsuit. I wanted to be able to, you know, watch this and be able to, do, you know, document this, yeah. you know, you know, and they, they got paid up through other people and then they finally, they finally moved on. But that was probably the most uh, egregious, you know, personally. And then there's been some other people that have taken advantage of the system as far as they knew that they were getting behind, then they didn't go out and seek help. And I actually think that those people, I mean, talk about the, oh, the ultimate F you to somebody during those COVID years when they knew that they couldn't be evicted and there is is free rent mm -hmm. out there for them. All they have to do is apply. Yeah. It was pretty easy. They were giving it out. You did not have to jump through many hoops to get your rent paid. Okay. Hey, if you're going to do that and you're going to go jump through those hoops and that's how you're going to pay your landlord, landlord, okay, great. Like, I guess I can kind of live with that. But if you are just going to straight up not pay your rent, knowing that it's available and not go and see, seek that help out, yeah. you're a scumbag. Yeah. Well, I agree. I mean, it's like, I mean, the, the law too, and you know, one of my frustrations during COVID was you didn't have to prove need. You know, you nope. had no obligation to prove that you had lost a job because of COVID or you had some sort of, um, you know, restriction on your income that made you need help during COVID. And that is, that's nonsense to me. That makes no sense. Why would you allow someone to not pay rent just because there's a pandemic if they kept their job? I don't have the answers there, I don't, but you know, but that was the, but that goes back to why they've made it so easy to go ahead and work the system. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the challenges that I see moving forward is we continue to see more and more aggressive landlord tenant laws being passed in favor of the tenant rights. Like you go down to Tacoma, mm -hmm. we are practically back at those, you know, COVID anti eviction uh, restrictions with what they have passed down there. If you really want to jump through the hoops and work the system, except what's not available right now is the help for landlords should one of those people choose not to pay. And I'm saying choose not to pay because there are plenty of people who are choosing not to pay. It's not that they can't, they choose not to. Yeah. And so Measure 1 in Tacoma is even more strict in some aspects than what's happening in Seattle when it comes to tenant protections. So taking your small landlord cap off as a real estate agent, are you seeing more landlords selling? 
in those areas? I, that will be to be determined okay. now. But if we just go and look at what happened in Seattle over the last four or five years, mm -hmm. since 2019, Seattle has lost over 11,000 rental units. Wow, yeah. This is important. This is this is something, you know, like the, those are less rental units on the market. Majority of those, Brandy, they're not crappy little apartments. Mm -hmm. Those are single family homes. That is the cream of the crop when it comes to, you know, rental inventory. Those are not being sold to other investors. You know, those just, they don't pencil anymore. Somebody's had that for 10, 15, 20 years, you know, and that's going to go to somebody who is going to move, you know, into the city. Mm -hmm. That is out of the rental pool. That is gone. You know, the Tacoma measures, those just passed. I mean, we're talking two, three weeks ago. I mean, it took a week, you know, to full, I mean, that thing was close. I mean, it was like 50.5%, 49.5%. It, 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 it took another week. It took, a, it took another week to count that all out. So, but people have been talking about it. You know, what are we going to do? I have a handful in Tacoma. It's something that, you know, it does affect me. You have it, a handful of units in Tacoma. Yes, I have a handful of units in Tacoma. This is personally affecting me. Um, and, you know, we've got a pretty great tenant mix out there. But yeah, it's something either that I think, you know, it's something that I think about every single day. What am I going to do down there? And, you know, am I going to stay down there and, you know, continue to invest in there long term? And the answer is probably no, wow. you know, or it will come back to some type of diversification. Um, you know, I have been down there since 2019, you know, or so. So, and I totally believe in Tacoma. I think Tacoma is a great city, and I think there's great people down there. But there's some stuff going on in the city council. I mean, they see like what Seattle, you know, is is doing, and they're like, "Hold my beer!" Like we want yeah. that, and then some. And so, you know, what am I going to do? Uh, think about it every single day. I will probably diversify a bit and probably not be as invested down there. I think there's still ways to maneuver, you know, through mm -hmm. there. You got to look at it this way too. You know, you look at a city like New York, San Francisco, which have the most restrictive landlord tenant laws, yeah. but people trade real estate there all the time. It's still some of the best real estate, but that is for the institutional investor. Mm -hmm. That's not the mom and pop that's got a couple. That's the institutional investor that has big dollars, you know, behind them. I don't have big dollars behind me. You know, you go a couple months behind, like now, like I'm, you know, I'm in a jam. You know, yeah. it's 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 a problem. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, I'm still I'm, you know, I'm doing the, we're doing the best that we can right now. We don't have anybody that is taking advantage of the system, but uh, we shall see. And moving forward, yeah, I'll probably I'll probably be a little less, you know, invested down there.